happy Tuesday. I'm just gonna pin a comment really quickly. And uh, good morning, good morning, wherever you are. I hope you all are well. And today I wanna to talk about compassion and why it's needed for yourself and why it's needed for the collective. And um, so I pulled this card this morning. I'm gonna show it to you guys. It might be backwards to you. Sorry if there's a little bit of reflection on it. This card is the Radiant Moon of Compassion card from um, Alana Fairchild's Kuan Yin Oracle deck, which I love this deck. It's so beautiful. The images are just gorgeous. And um, I pulled this card this morning and it really helped me see the bigger picture and uh, gain some clarity on something that is going on in my life. A recent issue um, came up, kind of a blind spot <laughs> um, that popped up and it came up a couple days ago for me to see and um, it was a blind spot and something that I really wasn't paying attention to. And now I have some light on it, which is happening for a lot of us. Things are coming up that we're seeing um, that maybe we didn't want to see or pay attention to. And so this really hit me in the face this week. <laughs> and this issue that I had um, come up for me had me feeling a lot of things like uh, fear, um, definitely some doubt, definitely um, some embarrassment and uh, a little bit of shame. And so I've been doing some mindset work around this the past couple days which has been helpful. And then this morning, like I said, I, I pulled this card out of the deck and um, I've been doing, I was doing some journaling about it. And once I started journaling about it, it really started to shift the energy for me. And I sort of started getting all of these aha moments because when you put things down on paper, it helps you observe things, observe whatever you're going through outside of you. So it kind of like gives you that separation. And so once I pulled the card and I started doing some journaling about it, it started to really shift the energy for me. And I wanted to share this with you guys because if this is something that you are going through, if you're coming up against something that's bubbling up a little bit of fear or doubt or embarrassment or guilt or judgment or shame or whatever it is, I just wanted to share this with you in case you find yourself um, in a space like this. So. For those of you who just joined, good morning. Um, I was just sharing this card that I pulled this morning from the Kuan Yin deck. deck excuse me, the Kuan Yin deck. <laughs> and this card is all about connecting to your inner spiritual strength to allow yourself enough compassion to liberate yourself from those lower vibrational frequencies like guilt, shame, fear, doubt, those types of things, and to move yourself into a different vibration of things like peace and love and joy, okay? Which is where our soul, where our soul naturally is anyway. That's where our soul cam comes from. That's where we are. And whether you are finding challenges right now that are out, like in the external world, whether they are in the form of a person, a place, a thing, a situation, or maybe a relationship, or whether it's in your internal uh, world, like a habit of self-doubt, a habit of self-judgment or um, criticism of others, I want to remind you that you always have a choice, right? <laughs> I talk about choice a lot. And you can allow those types of energies pull you down and for you to stay there. Or you can like go through the emotions, go through processing them and choose to grow and rise above. You know, there's always a choice. So I should have said this earlier, but the definition of compassion is the sympathetic consciousness of others' distress combined with the desire to help alleviate it. And I think it's important to point out that you can have compassion for another, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a doormat to have compassion. It doesn't mean that you have to jump into suffering or emotional suffering or manipulation from the other person that's experiencing it. So because they are often in a hurt or a wounded state. So you also don't have to meet them there. You can do what you can, but you don't have to meet them in that state. And it doesn't mean, uh, compassion also doesn't mean losing yourself in the process, right? And um, 
sometimes we try to rescue people from their own um, life choices, right? And I want to just share a passage from you. Um, so I pulled this card again for those of you that are joining in. This is the Radiant Moon of Compassion card from the Kuan Yin Oracle deck from Alana Fairchild. And so I'm going to read um, part of the description from the book that came with it. And it says, compassion is recognition of the power of all souls to co-create their life experience. Compassion is also the recognition of the struggle of humankind, the, the struggle that humankind can experience in the process of spiritual growth and a gentle, loving compassion for all of humanity, not from a position of spiritual arrogance, but from a position of kindness and generosity of spirit. Compassion aligns you back to your soul light, to your own spiritual power and lifts you to freedom. And I just thought that was so beautiful and lovely. I wanted to share that um, passage out of that out of the book with you. So I think this is so timely, right? And um, that's why I wanted to share the card with you because it resonated personally um, so much with me, what I'm going through right now, but also what I'm seeing in the world and just kind of our global community, right? Um, compassion is so necessary right now. So I want to encourage you to reconnect with your heart on a daily basis and free yourself from self-judgment and free yourself from the judgment of others and to continue to tap into your internal wisdom into your internal knowing and to find the peace within because it is within you we all have it within us and so i just want you to remind you to know that you deserve that okay so I hope that was helpful for you today. Thank you for um, listening to this message. I'm going to show you guys the card one more time that was here. And I hope you have a great week.